this me? That's me. Arnold says it tastes funny. Good Scottish war, that. Chris Fern right here. None in that. Just a prop. Uh, I need some monster in that, come on. I think there might be some in the, the fridge over there, or there was. Can I have a monster, please? Well, uh, overall thoughts on your performance, and how would you grade the win overall? A um, little bit rusty. It's my debut. Um, I had to get the win. I lost in my contender series fight, and uh, this fight meant a lot to me because financially, um, I'm kind of. I was working full time before I left to go to ATT, so this kind of puts a stamp on that I'm now a professional athlete and I can uh, leave my work. Not completely, but um, not rely on work itself to to look after my my family. So, what was your what job were you working at? Uh, I was a personal trainer. And you, you you won't leave that completely now, but eventually you think you will. Yeah, yeah. Time. Obviously, uh, a lot of my clients know that this will be my career eventually, and um, you know it's it's more the reliability of it. If I don't need to rely on it, the job doesn't seem as like a job. You know, if I can do that on the side and help the people that want to be helped. I've got a lot of great clients uh, back home, so um, it would be great to get back to them and see them. Well, I would imagine you're probably going to get more clients now that you have a win in the UFC. <sighs> yeah, that would be pretty good. And just to let you know, my prices have went up. <laughs> well, in, in terms of the game plan, it obviously seemed like it was a pretty wrestling-heavy attack. You shot for a lot of takedowns in there. So uh, was, did you, how do you think the, the, the fight played out relative to what your preparation was? Yeah, yeah. Obviously, I went to American Top Team and, um, you know, we knew that his grappling wasn't the best. Um, I don't know, man, that your debut is a, a tough one. Um, I felt pretty focused. Um, you know, there's a, a lot of improvement on my end. You know, I, as you've probably seen, I'm quite an exciting fighter. Um, he was waiting for me to attack and then counter, which was quite difficult to deal with. But I'm getting better every day. You know, I'm needing fights back to back because. Um, as you've seen from my record, I've had quite a lot of layoffs uh, just because of COVID and things, you know, um, fighting on other promotions and trying to get, get out of them and then COVID again. And oh, it's just been a wicked ride. This MMA is mental, you know. Um, I'm just looking forward to um, getting that cash in my bank and not have to worry about, you know, uh, working full time. When, when you say you, you, there's a little rusting in when you were in there, do you think that had something to do with like your placement on the card? There were obviously a lot of fans in there. Did you feel any sort of octagon jitters or anything going from fighting in the small apex to now a sold out O2? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it was, it was pretty difficult. Um, I felt pretty like on point, but um, my transitions weren't as good as I wanted them to be. And uh, I think I got a little bit of rabbit in the headlights kind of thing. And uh, if I could get a quick turnaround this time around from Sean, if Sean can get me matched. Uh, I would really appreciate a, a quick turnaround, um, and you know, because like that last since my contender series fight, that's been nearly six months. That's too long for me. You know, um, I would really, really appreciate it if Sean could get me something pretty quick. That was going to ask that. How, what you, last one for me? What do you think? What do you want the rest of your year to look like? Look, look like? How active do you want to be? I would like to be pretty active. Um, obviously, to try and get rid of those jitters and stuff like that as well. Um, you know. It, this is supposed to be my job now, so I want to be able to look after it full time and do what I need to do because I'm always learning. And you know, that's my first fight in like six months, my USA debut in front of 20,000 people in front of a UK crowd. You know, that I was, was kind of nerve wracking, you know. Um, so I got the job done. That's the main thing. Chris, just over here. You mentioned about improvements. Is there anything in your performance that you wish you could have perhaps done differently? Um, not particularly, no. Um, he, when I was going first, he was going second. I should have went third. But um, obviously, you've seen that the wrestling. Man, it feels like it was, didn't even happen. It feels like a dream now. That's pretty quick. But yeah, I went to the wrestling. And uh, as my team partner, my, sorry, my training partner, I would say, let's wrestle. <laughs> and you put any of that down to the kind of the nerves and, and the atmosphere in there? Yeah, yeah. You know, it's, it's a tough one. Um, he rocked me in the first, I think it was the first maybe, um, and uh, you know I went back to my corner and they said, let's get on his legs, like you're better at grappling than him, and get the right hand set up and in at those legs, and that got me with the win of the fight, and it's very important that you win your debut, because I lost in the contender series, and um, I lost pretty badly, um, 
so it was good to get back in there and uh, you know this is where I'm supposed to be you know the UFC and do you feel like that experience that you had with Contender Series has kind of set you up for this moment yeah a little bit yeah um, like the Contender Series is obviously like you fight in a room like this it's not like that that's 20,000 people screaming your name I was fucking shitting myself I'm not going to lie <laughs> And to be able to do it here in London in the UK as well, how much did that mean to you? To yeah, that meant a lot. That yeah, yeah, yeah. I got my daughter to come down and watch, and my fiance, I better say fiance. Um, now I keep calling my girlfriend, but she's my fiance. Uh, so it was great to have them down, and fingers crossed she comes through this door very soon. So, how do you celebrate this win tonight? Five guys, I think. Um, and then I just want to see my daughter. Um, and my girlfriend. Um, I just want to say a, a massive thank you to Robert Whiteford and uh, Adam Stevenson. Um, they're in my corner. You know, I didn't get a chance to say that in the cage. And obviously, my nutritionist Carol, he got to come in my corner this time around. Um, without them, uh, this journey wouldn't be possible. Those guys put a lot into me, uh, and you know, we have our ups and downs and stuff like that. But you know, I'll always be appreciative of them and. I'm just, I'm, I'm going to the top. I just need to keep working on this. Congrats. Chris, Chris just over. Um, so how, first of all, you've had a, has been an up and down journey. So when you had your Contender Series fight, it didn't go your way, but then you went away, got a win. How did it feel then getting that call for Contender Series again? You thought, this is now my chance now. Well, when I lost my Contender Series fight, Dana White and Sean Shelby came through the back um, and they said to me, listen, we appreciate what you've done because I cut weight like three times in the space of a month to tr get my shot in the Contender Series because obviously my opponent pulled out um, and I feel that that was probably why I lost to that left hook um, so they said go away, get a win and we'll have you back so I took, I took that as like right okay let's get to work um, and then the experience of losing and knowing that I'm not made of steel and coming back and having an uh, uh, a game plan coming into the next one but then obviously Charlie rocked me a little bit last time um, you know the, the experience in contender series is just like a minuscule compared to that 20,000 crowd out there and um, you said obviously in contender series you had pull outs um, did you learn because obviously you had a pull out on this fight as well you meant to fight Michael Figlak weren't you? yeah yeah um, so because you had pull outs before did that sort of prepare you for this day you thought I've had another pull out but I've been here I've done this before uh, that's why they call me the problem problem by name problem by nature so it's it's like water off a duck's back. Well, you're an exciting fighter. I said your contender series fight was very exciting. This one was a back and forth exciting fight. And um, I really hope they match you again, hopefully in July going forward. I'm sure, would that be something you'd be interested in as long as you're medically cleared? Of course, yeah, yeah. I'll be medically cleared, man. I've just got a few bumps and scrapes. And uh, I've said to all the interviews before, you know, I want to get back in there relatively quick because I feel like I'm a momentum fighter and I want to get back in there and do my job because that was six months since contenders, you know. Felt a bit jittery in there, but... There's always room for improvement. There's no, oh, sorry, mate. I was uh, just going to say there's no perfect in here. You know, there's always things you can improve on. Was there any extra pressure coming into today? I know it's your debut, but also it's a paper, It's one of the biggest events we've had in the UK since Bisping for Dan Henderson in Manchester. You know, it's a pay-per-view event. It's a big card, title fight. Did that add any add any more? Um, you know what I mean. Yeah, definitely there was a little bit of pressure, but like I didn't feel it in there and stuff like that. And I've got these McCornerman here and looking after me but um, it's just more of the improvement from my end that I, I need to work on you know I've got all the skills to beat anybody you know so um, I'm looking forward to hearing from my training partners in America what they've got to, to tell me about the fight and my coaches American top team and obviously speak to my coaches that are back there with me just now to to see what I can improve on because I'm always learning you know I'm I'm just a baby in this game yeah, man, fair play. And congratulations, Andy. Thank you. Um, good night for Scotland as well here. So that's good. Damn right, yes. <laughs> We're good? Perfect. Thank you, guys.